this video we're going to look at the sign rule for finding missing sides. So the sign rule is A over sign A equals B over sign B equals C over sign C. So if we've got a triangle, let's just label the angles first of all. So let's label the angles capital A, capital B and capital C. It's normal to, uh, to label the angles with capital letters. Then the sides opposite that, uh, opposite the angles would be little a. So little a is opposite capital A. Little b is opposite big B or angle B. And the side C is the side opposite uh, the angle C. So you've got a over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. So if you divide A by the sine of the angle A, it would be exactly the same as B divided by the sine of angle B, which would be exactly the same as C divided by the sine of angle C. So let's do an example now. Okay, so here we've got a triangle, and it's got a side of length 5 centimetres, and an angle of 95 degrees, and another angle of 30 degrees like so. And we've been asked to find the side X. So looking at this, what we're going to do is we're going to use the sine rule, which is A over sine A, which, um, a over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. The reason that I know I'm going to be using the sine rule is that you've got a side and the angle directly opposite it. So we've got the 5 centimetres and the 30 degree angle that is opposite it. So let's label them. So we've got capital A and little a. And you've got capital B and little b. Okay, so let's substitute those into the formula. So the formula is a over sine a equals b over sine b. So little a, 5, divided by the sine of 30, would equal b, which is x, divided by the sine of 95. Okay, so to solve that, all we're going to do is do 5 divided by sine 30, and then times that by sine 95. Okay, so we could do the 5 divided by the sine 30. 5 divided by sine 30, which is 10. So you get this part here is 10. So you get 10 equals x divided by sine 95. And then you just times both sides by sine 95. So that would give you 10 sine 95 equals x. So you just work out what 10 times the sine of 95 is. So 10 times the sine of 95 equals 9.96 to two decimal places. So x equals 9.96 centimeters to two decimal places. Okay, so we've used the sign rule to work out what the missing side x would be here, and it would be 9.96.